In this tutorial, I will learn how to use the map functionality to view my farms, tracks, and fields. From the land page, if I have farming interests documented with FSA as an operator, owner, or other producer, and I click the blue View Farm Records button, I am brought directly to the View All Farms page. Contact your local FSA service center if you have any questions. As I'm viewing my farms, I can toggle the map on and off by clicking the View Map button. With the map, I'll be able to view all of my land areas in context of one another. Details of each land area can be viewed by selecting it on the map. Once the map is on, I can zoom in or out of the map with the rectangle zoom tool, the plus and minus buttons, or the scroll wheel on my mouse to drill down into my farms, tracks, and fields. Use the manual zoom tool to type in the desired scale. The layer toggle next to the scale bar will allow me to switch between the farm, tract, and field view levels. Auto uses the default predetermined zoom level established for farms, tracks, and fields. Farm level allows me to view farm pins only, and track level allows me to see the track boundaries, and field level allows me to see the actual field boundaries. When on the View All Farms page with the map on, the map shows me the location of farms that are listed in the list panel by displaying a farm pin. Farm pins either show the number of farms in proximity or the actual farm number. Clicking on the farm pin will zoom me in until the farm number pin can be displayed. Once I click to select a specific farm, the list updates to display associated tracks and the map will zoom in to show the track boundaries as well. To view details about this track, click on the details link next to the track number to view information such as location, operator, land use, and base slash yield information. Once I click to select a tract on the map or the tract card in the list panel, the map will zoom in to show the fields associated with this tract. The list panel will drill down to show a list of fields as well. To view details about a specific field, I can select it on the map or select the field card on the list panel. This will open up the field details which show information such as location, other tenant, and any applicable CRP information. If I want to view more of the map, I can close the list panel. To open the list panel again, I can select the arrow highlighted in blue. I can change the imagery displayed on the map by using the imagery drop-down menu. NAPE is the default imagery, but I can switch the imagery to hybrid, satellite, street, and topographic. Creating new areas of interest can be done by utilizing the draw tools to create a graphic. These are located on the toolbar above the map and will allow me to define a new area, name it, and add a description. Please watch the draw tools tutorial video for more information. You can use the select tool to select multiple areas of interest to save or delete. Once selected, a side panel will open allowing you to save or delete the selected areas of interest. A blue toast message will appear confirming the success of your selection. You can select the View Layers tool to view all the map layers including a legend for each layer. You can turn layers on and off using the eye icon and view the sub-layers using the right-facing caret. Some layers become visible at preset scales. As you zoom in, additional layers will begin to appear, for example, the roads layer. To the right of the toolbar is an action menu where I can take additional actions such as importing a feature file and displaying the map in full screen. If I want to see the map in full screen, I can choose that from the three dot menu here and select full screen view. To return to the original view, select the drop down menu again and select Exit Full Screen. For more information on farm records mapping, please watch our other YouTube tutorials.